Ladies, headhunters and housewives, I'm going to do a quick training for you based upon what you asked for this week. So I did a podcast recording for some of the other things that you asked about regarding the difference between recruiter and coach, especially recruiter and career coach. Um, and the other question, um, or the main thing that, that hit home was how do you find your first client as a recruiter coach? So I want to talk about that, but because I speak to this a lot and getting clients, I think for the past 20 years, I've been helping recruiters get clients. I want to add something new for you. And so, um, you know, I did create a little while ago, a freebie, um, your three steps to getting, you know, three clients in the first three days hitting 3k. I think I called it the 3k and 30 day cheat sheet, which with one or three clients, clients, you can hit that right away, even during training with me. Um, so ask for that, come inside Headhunting Housewives group if you're not already and ask um, for that cheat sheet and we'll forward that to you if you're interested. That really helps give you three steps to hit your number to get a client right away. But today I want to focus on three secrets that I haven't talked about as much just to drill that home a little bit more. So um, the first secret in getting a client, which um, big companies use the same tactic. Again, nothing I'm telling you here is anything that I've created. This has been around forever. You watch old movies from TCM 50 years ago, people in sales or companies or CEOs of those old companies or advertising companies still had to get clients the same old way. We might now use social media. I did this on Facebook. LinkedIn using tech like Zoom and things, um, but it's still finding the uh, client the same way. And the secret is what they've done back then, even today, and new coaches and recruiters should do, especially on the coaching side, is find a beta client where you're giving it away for free or at a massive discount. Now, if you're a recruiter with corporate clients, it's a little bit different. I would never work for a corporate client for free because they're a corporation. Um, they have big budgets, you know, but you can start a lot lower. Maybe you're starting at 10K instead of 30K, you're starting at 10% instead of 30%, wherever it is to get your foot in the door. And the students I have taught that have gotten clients and landed 10K clients in the first three days use this method. It was a big discount, right? And maybe they only got like a 2K retainer upfront versus the 10K, right? So it's all about giving something a little bit more away, either deeply discounted or even for free. So that's the corporate side. Um, but for the coaching, I know a lot of you just want to add career coaching to um, your business. You want to start a career coaching business or your career, you want to add it. You have to go back and again, get some beta clients for proof of concept. And so how you do this is on coaching is get a couple of them for free in trade for a testimonial. So remember a testimonial that you can show on social media as proof of concept that you know what you're doing. You can help your client get that resolved. In this case, as a career coach, you want to help someone get their job, right? So you're going to help them with their resume, their LinkedIn, um, the video resume, the actual job hunt itself week to week, keeping them on track, helping them maybe negotiate, all the things you'll learn to do when I train you how to be a career coach. I use Kaplan, my company Kaplan Exec as a certification program. You don't even have to be certified, but I know most of you like feeling that you need that. So we offer that to you so you can come out with certification. And the way that we have done it is that if you get a testimonial from a live client, often there are clients or we share or we help you close your own client. But once you get that testimonial, that is as good as a piece of paper, a certification that you not only were trained as a career coach by Kaplan, but you actually help someone get a job. You help someone get that result, right? So that's certified at that point in my mind. And again, it's an unregulated industry in coaching. It's not like accounting or doctors or lawyers where you have to go and get a certain piece of paper to practice. You can be a career coach, anything in coaching, you can just go do it. But I know you want to make sure you're doing it right. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You want a blueprint. So we give all that to you. So the first thing is to get that beta client. And I teach you how to do that during our program together. When people come to work with me and want to learn how to add career coach, you know, become a retained recruiter um, or start an online coaching business, right? We do it on 90 day container. It's 10 weeks, leave a couple of weeks in there for vacations each quarter. Um, but you learn the process, but then more importantly, after you learn the blueprint of how to do it and all the tools you'll need, like the contracts or the terms or the templates, then it's like, how do you find your first client? That's the most important part if you're an entrepreneur or starting on a new business, right? If you're launching a new career, if you're a housewife at home raising kids and you want to start a new job or career, the sooner you can find your own clients, the more money you make and the more freedom you have, right? So I love for 20 years, I'll help people kind of get great big corporate jobs. But right now, I'm all about anyone I can pull out of corporate or just have them go straight to their own business. That's what I did 20 years ago. And that's what really set me free to have summers off the whole time I raised kids, take vacations quarterly, it just gave me freedom, but still make that six figure money at corporate, right? So your own business can do that. And this career coaching is exciting because 
more of you women, more of the masses can learn this um, easier than going for corporate clients. Here you're helping any candidate that needs help finding a job. And the market is hot right now for that. As soon as I launched the career coaching in 4Q, immediately I had so much of a wait list. I started training other recruiters to add career coaching and sharing that business, right? So then the one thing, I'll go one, two, three here, but the one thing again is to basically make sure you're getting a beta client, whether it's discounted, whether it's free, getting proof of concept, getting that testimonial. So the second thing that you want to do is you have to know to get that client. I'm going to back up here a minute. You have to know who that client is. Make sure you're going after who you want. Is that a college student right now? Does that feel more comfortable to you if you're brand new? Or can you go straight for the executive, which that might make more money and get you more money later on if that's going to be your clientele. So figure out who you want to serve. And I'm going to give you a little secret here too. So just like I gave you a secret into actually going for the beta, which was a discount offering for free, there's a secret in figuring out often who your ideal client is. And again, this is in my experience, especially on the coaching side and helping women and then coaches launching their business and you're figuring who is my client often like a high percentage of the time it is who you were maybe 5 10 15 years back when you didn't have the knowledge that you have now so in your mind if you can show up in a marketplace in that kind of heart of service looking for who you were years ago when you were confused or didn't know how to do that thing you didn't know how to put a contract together you didn't know what the terms look like you didn't have a template to go out to market right all the things that now are just kind of easy and second nature, go find her and give her all that information, right? That's going to be your ideal client. So that's why very quickly when I started my coaching business, um, even though I went after executives, I knew that was always my clientele in corporate America and I was retained by corporations to go find executives. So I'm like, ah, that'll be my ideal client. But really, and I thought that's where the money was, which it was, they have money to spend a few K or more just to help land a job. And you can take a high volume of those clients. But my heart was in finding the recruiters like me when I was a young mom trying to grow my business to keep that consistent 10K months, but still have time for family and juggling it all. When I kind of felt alone, I didn't know many other women recruiters that were a one woman show at their home making great money recruiting. I mean, I had a few women that I worked with that mentored me that showed me the ropes, but I was a little bit of alone. I felt um, um, isolated and I was very proud that I was able to do that and, and always have great clients, but there wasn't a lot of camaraderie or a sisterhood about other women doing it. Um, and when I started taking summers off, I, I have not yet really met many people that have done that, right? So, but it sustained me. It, I think it made it so I never really burnt out because women burn out. I like to take the summers off when I can for the most part. Um, we, with students this summer, it's gotten a little bit different, but typically I always took the summers off, went to the beach, took the time around Christmas off, you know? So I want you to do the same thing because you're creating this business around your life, not the other way around. It's a feminine way of, of operating this entrepreneurial operating system, right? Not the masculine way. So again, the secret is to go after you. And then when you kind of really feel like you're talking to these other women that you're helping in their career, find a job, or like for me, helping your recruiters make more money in your recruiting or coaching business, your heart is so in it. You really have, you always shop in a place of service, but there is no salesiness to it because you're helping you. It's very matrixy. It really puts you in the heart of service and about helping that person get that result, which is way more important than getting the money, right? So um, in my recruiting business, I always didn't get paid till I had success. I had KPIs I had to hit. One month in, I want to get my next retainer till I hit a KPI. I don't want to get my final retainer until the person was placed. So I like doing that here with coaching too, where you get a retainer up front to get going. There has to be investment from another person from the get-go, but then you kind of pay as you go and as you build it, as you get a return on investments, so you have the money to build your business before you ever do ads or funnels or all that good stuff as well, right? So you want to get a return on your investment. And again, the best secret to that is finding um, your ideal client who might've been you years ago, okay? So that's number two. The third thing, I hope I'm keeping this short here, um, is you have to apply an action plan. So once you learn of these things, let's say you've gone through my career coaching program, right? It's a 10 week program. You get weekly support and you've learned how to do it. You know, that how you help them with the resume, you know, how the structure of it is weekly, what you're doing, you know, how to go on the hunt, you know, what the LinkedIn 500 is to help them quickly get up on LinkedIn, how to reach out to recruiters, how to get them on different recruiters lists. So they're going to get more callbacks. And if they weren't working with you, let's say, you know, all of that, but it goes back to if you don't know a system yourself, not only you're sharing a blueprint with them, 
But as a business owner, recruiter, coach, your blueprint to make money in the first 30, 60, 90 days, right? To get your ROI and really launch out there, you won't be successful, right? You're going to get, um, you're going to feel like it's a waste of time. Even if you're helping people and that's never a waste of time, you're going to feel like, oh, uh, is this worth it? my valuable time? Could I be with my family versus helping these um, people through my business, right? But when you're helping people at business and you're getting paid as a good coach or recruiter and that money is helping your family, that's when everything's rocking and rolling. You never feel used, you never feel... Um, burnt out again, because it's a system you have in place. And that's one of the huge things I help my clients with both when I've been a recruiter, even guiding, you know, CEOs of small companies, even with the hiring process was even through the onboarding um, to helping career, um, you know, executives or even college grads have a structured looking for a job. It shouldn't be as you get on the computer once in a while and look for something and apply. That doesn't work. You need a weekly structured program with your resume, your LinkedIn, the video resume, and a weekly cadence of what you're doing to land that job. And you can target in the companies you want and go for it, right? So you have to have that structure there to be successful. And that same thing is what I give you to make sure as you're helping other people that you have that structure for yourself. So I'm very big on structure. I have been organizing my calendar, you know, on a quarterly, monthly, weekly, on a daily basis. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, things that we do when you're in my container. Headhunting Housewives probably see a lot of this on my free information. But when you work with me, we get really deeper in that. So every day you kind of know what you're doing, why you're doing it, when you're doing it, but it's all built around a lot of free time for yourself and around your family and friends and the life you want to build, right? So you're not, um, just overworking or staying up late or doing just too much in the business. It's step by step. And besides, a lot of times, another tip, if you go too deep into your business without having a client, you can waste a lot of time because it's going to evolve and change, right? So um, your client who you want to go after might change. Again, mine was executives to start. But then when I had a wait list of them and realized this is too much and this is what I've been doing for 20 years anyway, I'm like, let me help the recruiters. That's my ideal client, right? Let me help women, housewives wanting to bumpstart their career and make more money at home, right? I've done, I've done that, been there. I can teach that all day. And I did sales for many years, right? So it kind of helps get the client for you online. So those are the three secrets, okay? And that's something I really haven't spoke to as much before. Um, again, if you go on my cheat sheet, you'll learn about how you go fishing out in social media and how you hunt and attract, you know, how you qualify, how you close. That's the one, two, three steps. But the one, two, three secrets is the whole beta client, how you get those who your ICA is um, and those systems around to help that person. And then really applying that action plan, that cheat sheet, using the secrets and the steps to go get it done and do it at the right timing. So you're not getting too far ahead of yourself and never burning out. So I hope that is super helpful, ladies. Um, I'm going to put this out there because that's what you wanted to know about. I wanted to do a live training, but then it is summer and I'm all about getting together with friends and more freedom. So I do what I preach. So instead of a live Facebook, I'm going to do a recording, but I know you all really love to watch these recordings afterwards anyways <laughs> at least most of my clients they'll they maybe a few show up for my live and it's all in the replays when I hear from you so I hope you watch this in the replay I still like to hear from you please let me know if you watch the replay reach out if you have questions you know how to dm me you can find me on LinkedIn and Facebook and I do answer questions and if I don't live I'll gonna make videos to it sometimes so um so don't be afraid to reach out to me I'm very accessible so happy hunting housewives and I'll talk to you soon bye